Hello Juki lovers, it's back to school season and today we are creating an embroidered pouch using the 8 needle embroidery machine Juki Tajima Sai. Let's get started. The first step is to design on the Tajima Sai Rider Plus software. Let's open up the software and let's choose our hoop type and size. I've selected the optional magnetic hoop 80 by 140 that can be purchased separately at your local Juki dealer. Next, let's select a couple of designs. Head over to the start icon to open up the design gallery. I've selected a couple of designs that are personalized for my kit. For example, we have a dog named Toby, so I'm going to select the whimsical dog design. My kids also love their stuffed dinosaur bubbles and both play soccer, so I'm going to add those designs. We recommend picking things your little ones like. The next step is to resize and organize the designs to fit in the frame. The software includes arrows when the design is selected to quickly and accurately resize and rotate. Save your file as DST into a USB drive. This is an optional step. If you would like to add additional designs, go to File, then New. I'm choosing a smaller magnetic frame to add initials. To add text, click the T on the toolbar and type in the initials. I added a little bit more spacing and resize to fit. Once you're done, go to File, Save As, and choose DST for Type. Let's embroider. Slide your pouch onto the frame. I'm using a magnetic frame and using magnets to keep the pouch in place. Let's head over to the screen. Tap the frame icon on the home screen and select your frame. We've selected the M frame 80 by 140. Go back to the home screen and insert the USB with your design. Next, tap on the flower, tap USB, and select your design. Tap set when you're done. In this step, you can change colors to specific parts of your design. For an in-depth tutorial, please go to our Juki Tajima Sai playlist and watch the video titled How to Assign Needle Thread Color. Tap set once you're done. Make sure the frame on the machine and the one on screen match. Tap set when you're done. Next, you can select where you want the machine head aligned to the design. My preference is in the center. In this screen, I'm tapping on the arrows to get the machine head perfectly centered on the pouch. Tap set when you're done. Now let's trace to see where the design will be placed. You can change the placement and trace as many times as you like. Once ready, push start. And it's done! Let's remove the pouch from the frame. If you'd like to add additional designs to the pouch, please repeat the previous steps.
Thank you for joining us on this project. We hope you enjoyed creating the embroidered pouch with us. See you on the next one.